So everything that's laid out onto this little piece of wood right here, this is everything that I need for sturgeon fishing, or at least what I'm using this year and I'm experimenting with. So from left to right, this little box right here just holds all my, my weights. And again, we're just using eight ounce bank sinker weights. And then this right here is just a 100 pound braided Dacron line. And this is what I was using to tie my hook onto my swivel. This right here is my 50 pound Maxima Chameleon main line. And you guys can see I bought the big roll or the big spool because it's a lot more worth it than buying those little spools like this every single time you need to re-spool. So you might be wondering, well, what the heck is this for? This is just for tying my, my weight onto my sinker slider. So there's a difference. A bank sinker slider weight, you don't need a lot of line. So just having a little spool like this will last you a long time. But when you're trying to spool up several rods, bulk spool is the way to go. Next, we just have a measuring tape here. This is a 10 foot. If a fish is bigger than 10 foot, you know you caught a beast. And then here, this is just a bunch of hooks. And you might be wondering, what are these swivels? These swivels are just like hooks that are pre-tied to the swivel. That way, if you lose your hook to a snag, you don't have to completely start from scratch when you're retying your stuff. You can just quickly tie it tie your main line to a swivel or something like that and you're good to go and this year uh, I decided to upsize to an a dot size so again these are made by gamakatsu these are the octopus barbless hooks for sturgeon you have to make sure that your hooks are barbless um, never really had any issues with them so I've just been stuck with them for hook size I've used 5 aught all the way through 9 aught but 7 aught and 8 aught I feel like are the best ones for all around purpose. Uh, last year I was using 7 aught almost exclusively but this year I decided to go up to an 8 aught and I think I like an 8 aught a little bit more than 7 aught but you really can't go wrong with either that's just splitting hairs. And then these are just little things that I need for the rig that I'm experimenting with this year so again this is just uh, some crane swivels crane swivels these are rated for like a hundred pounds and then plastic bead and then my rubber beads and then my sinker slider weights again made by bottom dwellers tackle and then just other things that I need like a scissor a plier and then these things right here um, I will occasionally use these if my meat is starting to fall apart and so these are just made by mics and these are just uh, spawn nets and what you do is you just wrap this around your piece of bait and then what I'll do is I'll just take some magic thread and wrap it around this so that this doesn't unravel around your bait and then you just cast it out there so that's basically it and then up here this is just a little tackle box that also has pretty much everything I just went through but this little tackle box right here has everything so in case I don't need to carry my big bag with me I can just grab this throw it in my little backpack and then I know that I have everything in here so I can go fishing without having to haul that big old tackle box with me. Other than that, that's pretty much what's in my tackle box. Where is it? You see him? Do you see him? Oh, right here. Oh, yeah, that's a. <laughs> Maybe like mid 40s. Yeah. Yeah, he's small. He's small, but we'll measure. <laughs> there it is. Waited all day for this. We're gonna flip them up just because we're gonna measure them. A lot of times, if you need to calm down the sturgeon, you just flip them up upside down and they'll calm down. Yeah, he's probably like 40, maybe low 40s. Yeah, when I set the hook, he felt good. Probably just a bunch of weed. Okay, let me get on this side. Yeah, 44. 44 incher. Damn it. 44. I thought it was going to be bigger. Yeah, I thought it was going to be bigger. No, no. 
Oh, he already wanted to go. <laughs> it's all good. Release them when they're still energetic. Oh, well, at least we saw a fish. 44 inches. Right now it's 5 o'clock p.m. It took me 11 hours to finally film an intro for this video because I wasn't sure how the fishing was going to be. And so took all day, finally landed a respectable fish. Earlier we landed like a like a 20 incher. We're here at Lake Roosevelt and we're trying for some more keeper sturgeon fishing. If you guys watched the last video, I already caught a keeper sturgeon. But on Lake Roosevelt, you can actually keep up to two per year. So I decided to just come out here. Uh, I don't really care if, if I catch a second keeper or not. I'm mainly just out here hanging out with my cousins, basically my family. If you're brand new to Lake Roosevelt sturgeon fishing, for 2020, the retention slot is 50 inches to 63 inches, measuring fork length. And so, too short. So, that just gave us a boost of confidence. So, I'm gonna go back to actually trying to film this video and we'll see if we get lucky. Up until this point, fishing has been pretty slow. And so yesterday evening, Kong and I, we were just kind of talking, you know, of just about stuff of how we can find a little bit better success. We both made the plan to move and try a different spot. We're gonna go down to this little spot down here. And uh, we'll see if we can get lucky and maybe land Kong a keeper. hit bottom yet. Alright, that's the rig. A slider, a sinker slider, two beads, a swivel, Dacron braid, a dot barbless kamikatsu octopus hook piece of squid on this one my other rod has a piece of bluegill on there Whew. reach new line with that cast <laughs> Oh yeah, dude, that's a fish, dude. Oh yeah. Fish on, baby. Big one. Keeper. Get our tape measure. Think the fish is stuck or your weight is stuck? Stuck as you can tell. Yeah. I think I can't see him tell right there. Oh well. 
At least we got a bite. Maybe he just came off. He just came off. Yeah. Maybe when your weight was just sitting there. Yeah. He was he probably just came off. Just came off. Chang had a fish on his rod for a couple minutes there, but then as he was fighting the fish, his weight got snagged. And so we didn't know that it was the weight. So we were debating whether it was the weight or the fish. So we kind of played it easy on the fish. Turns out it was the weight that was snagged. So when we released some tension on the line. Since we are using barbless hooks, the hook just popped out and the fish got loose. And so today we just got a variety of baits with us. We've got pickled squid, we've got bluegill, and we've got crappie. So um, since we have multiple rods out today, we're just kind of testing out what these fish might want. And so we've got pickled squid, we've got bluegill, we've got crappie thrown out in the water right now. So that was unfortunate, but right now it's just back to being patient and seeing if another fish wants a meal. That was weird. We were just literally standing here. Decided to go back to the tent. Fish on. That way he just doesn't realize that he's on the line yet. I think he realized with his first run. Yeah, it should be quicker. I don't know. I don't know. No. Nope. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna reel this one in. Yeah, grab him. <laughs> I don't know, he's pretty big though. He might be a little yeah, big. He looks a little big. A little big. Here. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe. 68. Dang fish. Wow. 68 fort length. Look how big he is. That's a nice dude, that's a girthy fish, fish dude. Yeah. This is a fat fish, man. Look at that. Delicious, man. Oh. Yeah, All right. All right. All right. There he goes. Look at that beast. That made the trip worth it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Awesome. Looks you said good. you have a website? Yeah, it's called Sturgeon Addicted. Sturgeon Addicted? Sturgeon Addicted. Facebook? Facebook, yeah. All right, so we have been fishing like three, no, maybe three, four hours after we landed that 68 incher. And so we decided to move spots. We'll see if over here is a little bit better. Still the same rigs. This one I've got cut bait on there. This rod right here, I've got squid, so I'm gonna cast this one. I'm gonna cast that one next. Let's move this rod though. I don't wanna whack this rod. gotta do is just wait until our weight sits on the bottom once that happens here then we'll go back to this rod and cast that one out Today has been so dead. We've literally just been sitting around doing nothing. But finally, after how many hours of just sitting around and doing nothing, finally got a fish on my rod, so. Dude, might be a keeper, dude. Feels pretty decent. Fingers crossed, dude. I 
I told you, man, you're gonna cook, they, they come out. I don't know, we'll see. Might be close. Might be close. <laughs> oh, keeper, dude. That's a keeper. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's on. Nice lighter. Yeah, pull, just pull him out, dude. That's a keeper, dude. Woo! My heart sank for a second there. That's a keeper, baby. 50, 51 and three quarter. 51 and three quarter, baby. Well, there it is, folks. That is my second keeper sturgeon for 2020 on Lake Roosevelt. So that means that I am completely done with sturgeon fishing on Lake Roosevelt. I can't even catch and release even if I wanted to because that's just the regulations. So with that being said, I'm just gonna watch my cousins and see if they can catch a keeper. But right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill out my catch record card because when you fish for sturgeon, you do have to tag your sturgeon. All right, so the general synopsis of why we decided to fish where we fish today was first off, we had to find a place that was kid friendly. Chang brought his three kids, so today we had to find a spot where his kids can run around. So whenever you add kids into the equation, you're pretty limited on places where you can actually sturgeon fish. So we came over here and we fished two different spots today. The first spot today, we landed that 68 incher. And then uh, we had two buddies that were fishing down a little bit further downstream from us. But regardless of where we were fishing and where they were fishing, the structure of the river is essentially the same because right here and where we were fishing up river, the river right here, you guys can see, it's, it starts off shallow and then it just gradually goes deeper and deeper and deeper and the main channel is actually a little bit further out and so this is one of the places where you're just trying to cast as far as you can because the channel is a little bit further out there and the water is also higher so you have to launch as far as you can to hopefully try and hit that channel in some other areas if you're trying to cast as far as you can sometimes you might overcast the channel but right here the channel is a little bit further out there so when we're casting we're just trying to launch it out as far as we can and again, if you look at the water structure here, you guys can see it's kind of shallow right here and then it just slowly drops off. And so that's how I caught my keeper today. And that's how Chang caught the 68 incher upriver. We were just casting out as far as we can. Other than that, there's nothing really special to it besides just being patient. That's gonna do it for this video. Uh, in this video, we landed three sturgeon, one keeper, one undersized and one oversized. But the truth is, all three sturgeon they didn't even really fight so we didn't get a lot of good footage of these fish fighting it was mainly just us horsing the fish in but that's sturgeon fishing sometimes you get the lazy sturgeon other times you get the sturgeon where they just do not want to come in and they all they do is just run and run and run with that being said thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one